Now, now, today, we are making beef pot pies. Except I don't have no pot. That was actually Italian seasoning. Join me! Shall y'all? Now, now, today, So what we have here is some deep dish pie shells. We're gonna stick a fork in these here, so they don't puff up too much. We're gonna par cook these off, so that when we put our filling in here and we bake it, it ain't all gummy. So there we go. We got our pot pies all forked up there and ready to go in the oven. And bake off. Throw them in on 350 for about 15 minutes. And just make our filling. So we're starting off here with some cubed uh, sirloin flat meat. Very nice. This is a very good uh, meat. If you find it in the store, it's sirloin flat. It's kind of like a skirt steak. You can make fajitas out of it, things of that nature. But it's really good for pot pie because it's tender and lean. What I did here is I seasoned that up with this here. Badia, complete seasoning. Let's got all the herbs and spices, some garlic and onion and stuff in there. And then I put a little extra uh, garlic pepper on there. We're gonna saute that up, and I'll show you the rest. So when you're making pot pie, I always find it's a good rule of thumb to use some fresh herbs in there. It really brings out the flavor. First things first, we're gonna brown off the meat here that we marinated here in that seasoning. Using a big skillet on wok. We got this little canola oil down there. I don't like using uh, olive oil in this because it's too strong of a flavor for a pot pie. So what herbs we using here is fresh rosemary and fresh thyme. So this is gonna be the same top concept we use to stir fry. Brown your meat off. We're going to put it in a plate. That way we don't crowd the pan. That way we can saute our vegetables and stuff. We'll throw the meat back in there. And everything come out the right way. So with our meat pulled aside, we're throwing in our, our uh, onion, our celery, and our potato. And as you notice there, I just pulled the meat off and left the pan drippings in there. I want some drippings in there for the flavor. What I'm going to do is deglaze this here in a second. I'm going to get this cooking a little bit. Get some red wine. From a can. And of course, you know the chef's going to throw some garlic in that shit. There we go. Ooh -wee. I just tried some of that meat out. It's absolutely delicious. It's got a nice little crispy crust on it. Mmm. Fantastic. Okay, so we got some nice color on these vegetables here, and I'm gonna use this canned red wine from 14 Hands Winery. Hot to try. Get that in there. Oh yeah. Bourguignon. This here is from Columbia Valley. Fourteen Hands Winery, Patterson, Washington, USA. Now we're gonna cut that straight wine with two cups of water. We're gonna let that simmer here for about ten minutes so them potatoes cook. Not sure what we're gonna do next. So there's what our par cooked pie shell look like. You don't want to cook them all the way because we still gotta bake them in the oven. But you do want them partially cooked, that way it ain't gummy in the bottom and on the sides because they don't bake all the way. So I basically got two cups of water, two cups of wine in there. You know that reduced down to about three cups. I'm going to throw in these herbs at this point. Let that reduce for a little bit. Now this shit is smelling so damn good. I wish you guys could smell it because it's, it's fucking incredible. It smells like you're in a French kitchen.
So while I'm making that filling there, what I like to do is evenly distribute the meat so that it will pop high, get the same amount of meat in it. So if somebody don't get one, don't have hardly any meat, and somebody gets some with a whole bunch of meat, this way everybody gets the same amount of meat. So what we're gonna use here for our final flavor and our thickener is this Minus Demi Gloss base. This stuff's absolutely delicious. It works great for this. That's supposed to be made into a sauce, but it works great for pot pie too. And you can pick this up on the internet. Just look up Minus Demi Gloss. Now if you're making sauce, just make 76 ounces if you mix this with 76 ounces of water. So thick, it don't want to come off the spoon. Put about two tablespoons in there and give her a shake. So you see, just like that, that shit thickened up real fast. Almost ready. A few more minutes. So since we're gonna bake these off, we're gonna put our frozen peas and carrots in there, like so, because I don't want them to overcook in that mix we're making over there. Okay, we finally at the pot we put a wet filling in there. Now this, as you can see, is a lengthy process. So don't try to make this in 30 minutes because you ain't gonna do it. It's about a two hour process. We there we go, we had all that wet shit in there now. Now we're starting to get a pot pie. There we go, all the way to the top. Now it's time to top these and finish them off in the oven. So what I have here is some rolled dough. We're gonna place over the top of these, trim them, poke a couple of holes to vent, pop them in the oven. So all you do at this point is rub off the excess with your finger or your thumb, press down gently, and all the excess dough come off of there, like so. Okay, so we got our tops on there. Now there's a couple of things you can do at this point. There's something you gotta do. You're gonna have to poke a few vent holes in there, okay? Otherwise, this damn thing will blow up on you. You have a big old mess. Gotta let, it, gotta let it vent out as it's cooking, baking. I usually poke three in these small ones. Now some other things you can do. Some people elect to put egg wash on there. I'm not an egg wash fan, so I don't put the egg wash on there myself. But you can. And some people elect to uh, use a cookie cutter and cut out some leaves or other decorations for the top. You can do that as well if you'd like to. But it's midnight and I want to eat some before it's morning. So we're going to go ahead and put these off in the oven. These are going to take about 15 minutes. Should come out golden brown on 350. Okay, so after filling up them pot pies. I had that leftover meat I threw back in this base here. Now this here is fantastic by itself. Oh, you can throw this over some rice, some steamed rice, and have your di whole different meal. What I'm going to do this probably is bag it up in a, a food saver. Put out next time I make pot pies. That way this process will be a hell of a lot easier. Just got to fill the pot shell. Ooh, wee, that's looking delicious. Delicious. Got the others in the oven. This was the most cooked one. It needs to cook just a hair more to get all brown on top, but it is 12.40 in the morning. I gotta eat. Okay, here's another one. We're gonna crack this one open here and I'll show you what the inside looks like. Things are hotter than hell. Just out of the oven. Looking beautiful. As only they can look. And what I wanted to show you here is by pot cooking that bottom crust first, it's cooked all the way, it ain't gummy and doughy. Makes a big difference. Well, I call this here the knife, the Bill Clinton knife. A little crooked. Okay, let's cut this thing open. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Steam pouring out of there. Oh yeah, looky in there, looky in there. Mm-mm-mm. All that goodness in there. All right, let's dig in. It's finally time for the moment of truth at 12.53 a.m. This shit is hot. There we go. Mm. Mm. It's fucking delicious. Almost dropped it. Mm mm mm. Oh, man. That right there might be the best damn thing ever made. That is absolutely delicious. Get you some. Want well, to thank you for joining me today? Mm. Savoring it. It's delicious. The key to that is that um, that base I showed you, the Demi base by Mina. That's a key ingredient. You're gonna need to get that on the internet. Anyway, thanks for joining me. We will see you next time. My ass is tired. Adios, mofos. <laughs>